<laughs> Welcome back. Joining us in studio right now, we have Rochelle with the Lafayette Mom. All right, so kids are back in school, and it's time to start thinking about those extracurricular activities, and that can be a little overwhelming. Oh, yes, and Lafayette Mom has a brand new guide for after school activities in and around Lafayette. Nice. Yeah, Lafayette has a lot going mm -hmm. on. And many of the programs are signing up for fall enrollment now. Okay. So it's a good time to figure out what you're interested in. Yeah. Um, and we have a guide to help you figure that out. Nice. So what are some options for those parents out there that maybe want to try something new for their kids or have no idea where to even look? This guide is massive. It includes all of the sports that you can be interested in. Football, soccer, um, martial arts, it has a large yeah. section. And a few other mentions is solo uh, gymnastics okay. and the dance collective offers classes for kids and adults. So it's not just kids. I love that. I love yes. that they incorporate the grown-ups too. Because yes. We need extracurriculars every now and then. Yeah, yeah, something for everyone. And yeah. the guide includes all of the sports, like I say, all of the sports and all non-sports. Anything that you can be interested in, it's this is a there. good place to get started. Now, as a mom, why is it so important that we put our kids in extracurricular activities? Well, I mean, you want to introduce them to other things. We were just talking about this earlier. Um, interest, introducing your kids to something other than what's offered in the school, because yeah. that's a good start, but there's a lot of things going on um, to stay connected with the culture and just introduce new interests. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And so this guide is live on the website right now? The guide is live, and remember, a lot of programs are enrolling for fall now, so if you're getting into a popular uh, program, now it's the time, time to start, start looking into it. it. Yes. You don't want to miss out on that opportunity. Yes. And for our friends at home, what's a good website to find this guide? You can find the guide at thelafayettemom.com and you can connect with us on Instagram and Facebook. We love to connect and if you have any extra um, curricular activities that you're interested in learning about, let us know. Connect with us. Yeah, and Rochelle's going to be hanging out with us. She also has a guide for open houses, which is super important for this time of the year. So you guys want to stick around. We'll be right back after we check in with Adam Olivier. Well, we are seeing those hot. Welcome back. Joining us in studio, we have Rochelle with the Lafayette Mom. And so we are tackling open houses. Okay. Tell us about this. Why do we need to be so prepared for these? Well, it feels like we just brought the kids back to school. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but now is the time to start planning for the future. It's never too early, and it's yeah. almost open house season. Okay. So open house is a time when the schools and um, institutions open their doors and offer private tours and open houses to show you their programs. Yeah. And so the Lafayette Mom has a guide for all of schools, all the information you need to know um, about Lafayette schools, how to sign up for an open house, how to sign up for a private tour. Yeah. All the things. Nice. Okay, so for those at home that maybe haven't done the open house kind of tours before, is there any tips or advice that you could offer to them to know when they show up for an open house? Well, every school is different. Every school has a new schedule. So like I said, open um, house season is starting now. So if you're interested in uh, public schools or private schools, even the preschools, now is the time yeah. to start looking into their schedules. And we have it all on the blog yeah. um, for you to look at the open house schedule and get signed up, especially if there's a wait list involved because a mm -hmm. lot of our private schools do have wait lists. Yeah, and yeah. it's a good thing that you did mention that wait list because now is that time to start thinking about it so you don't miss that opportunity to be part of that facility. Right, because fall is right around the corner. It's going to oh. be here as soon as you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so what's that website? The LafayetteMom.com. And again, you can connect with us on Instagram and Facebook. We'd love to hear, um, we'd love to connect with you and hear your stories about what you've learned from the Lafayette Mom. Yeah, and thank you so much for stopping by to share all of this knowledge with our viewers today. Thank you for having me. Of course, <laughs> and if you at home, you want to learn more, head to our website, kdn.com. We're going to put everything you need right there. We'll be right back after this.